Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here, and today is the 23rd, Sunday, December 23rd, 2018, and we are in day 23 of the 31 Days of David's Tea. So folks, got some bad news. We have another repeat, but then on top of that, we got some good news. Which is, I'm trying it another way. Great news is, we're two days away from Christmas. Ooh, so exciting, right? So, folks, the repeat offender this time around is... I grabbed the wrong thing. Turmeric or turmeric glow. I've tried this tea a little bit before, um, I believe, I forget y'all, but it, I don't think it was in the collection now that I'm trying to recall, if it was, cool, but if not, you know, it's kind of hard to remember, <laughs> but I did try this tea before with y'all, and, um, I tried it hot however this time I'm gonna try it iced so I'm not gonna go into detail but with the tea itself because I listed all the ingredients before but this collection is not really a complete collection it's sort of an incomplete collection um, earlier I'm trying to think if it was last year or this year the I think it was this year there was an Easter collection and I did an unboxing on it however there were these teas some of which are new and well this is tomorrow's tea I already spoiled it but this was a part of the Easter collection I got the little cute door tags I didn't get a official collection collection but I think this was a time where I was wanting to try turmeric, turmeric glow. So, the reason why I chose this collection of sorts is because I wanted to complete something before Christmas. Because Christmas, I got something special for y'all. So, turmeric or turmeric glow iced. Let's see how this bad boy tastes, y'all. This is how it looks. It looks like <laughs> radioactive lemonade or something. <laughs> Still kind of hot, but the iced tea portion, the iced tea press, you know, of course it's going to be hot on the bottom, but here it's kind of cool to the touch. So, let's go in unsweetened with the sip okay so I know hot turmeric turmeric has a very very distinct flavor especially if you um like you know if you're cooking with it or whatnot you could you could taste it out of the bunch but, oops, but ladies and gentlemen, it's not too overwhelming like the Republic of Teas, whatchamacallit, um, turmeric single sips, because that was like, it just tastes like straight up turmeric, like turmeric powder and stuff. It was a bit much, y'all. So, as y'all can see, this is my sweetener of choice when it comes to iced tea. Um, like I said, if I made some, ah, oh, if I made some liquid sugar syrup, whatnot beforehand, then I'd use that. But you know, this is really convenient and it's stevia, so it's zero calories. Squirted some in there. I'm just letting it sit. 
Oh, folks. Folks, you know what? I forgot to show you. I don't think I showed you last time. If I did, well, it wouldn't hurt to show again because, come on, come on up. Because, like, there's a lot of turmeric, turmeric in this. So, it's in a bag. It's easier for me to show. So, this is how the tazan or the herbal, or excuse me, the fruit infusion. It's a fruit infusion. This is how it looks. You can see tons of turmeric, so they ain't skimping out on that. And then, like, I think there's some sweet blackberry leaves. There's carrot in here. And natural flavoring. There's also ginger and pineapple. So I just read the ingredients. But this has a nicer, well-balanced taste versus Republic of Teas um, turmeric single sip. That was a bit overwhelming for me. But I like this. Yeah, unsweetened. It's well. It's not my official verdict, y'all. But unsweetened, it's quite nice. It has a nice balance to it because of the blackberry leaves. And um, what else do I want to say? The carrot, the pineapple, you know, it really lends itself to overall nice tasting tizan. Okay, now that I let the stevia settle for a bit. I believe it's time for a sipping. Took a big old sip right there. The sweetness cuts out the hardiness of the turmeric, turmeric, and um. What else did I want to say? It, it's it's very it's quite nice. It's very nice tasting um fruit infusion. I have more of this, so I mean I'll just drink what I have. I wouldn't go out my way to get this because, like I said, the turmeric slash turmeric is more of an acquired taste for me. Um, so let's hand down the verdict. So, in the case of David's Tea's Turmeric Glow Iced, um, unsweetened, I'd give a good. You can taste the turmeric, but it's not, like, to the point where it's up, like, you're tasting, like, you just dumped a teaspoon, tablespoon of the powder in hot water or iced water, whichever, and, like, that's all you taste. The other flavors of the ginger, the fruits, the vegetables, the sweet blackberry leaves, they all come together in this tea, which is what I like. Um, for the tea, un or excuse me, sweetened, I would give a good. Um, the sweetness cuts out the hardiness, like I said before, uh, doesn't taste so earthy and like almost akin to like eating dirt, I guess. I don't eat dirt, but <laughs> um, like turmeric to me tastes like it's really, it's spicy like dirt or something like, uh, like I don't cook, I wouldn't cook with it in excess, but you know, I would experiment with it. And as long as I can bring other flavors in with turmeric, turmeric, then sure, why not? But, like, if a dish solely requests for the spice alone, mm-mm. Like, it's an acquired taste. But this tea does help me like the turmeric, turmeric more because of how it can be used with other ingredients to create a nice, balanced mouthfeel. So, folks, it's a good on um, both sweetened and unsweetened for turmeric glow iced. Um, hot, I think I had the same sentiment, but I'm 
I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not going to go way back. But I think it was a Tuesdays with a T that I did an iced. Or excuse me, that I did it hot. So if you want to check that out, go for it. Or if you just type in turmeric glow, turmeric glow, um, you, you should be able to get both the hot and the iced. It's just that I know I did this hot. So... There you have it, folks. Day 23 down. Hopefully you got all the stuff you had to get done um, today. And just enjoy the holidays, y'all. I will see you tomorrow, Christmas Eve, for day 24 of 24 days. Or that, not 24, 31 days of David's Tea. Had to catch myself. So, y'all, make it a great day today and every day. Oh, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome. They're greatly appreciated. You know, I love reading your comments, reading your thoughts and opinions on this. For Take care then. Bye-bye now.